Hello, I'm Eli for edu for hava and this is the tutorial number 7 of SQL. We're going to have a look uh, in this tutorial at the SQL instruction update set. Okay, for this we're going to play with this table that I have here. This is the copy of the publisher table. We have one 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 two 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 five four five. Okay, all these numbers. Let's edit table and change this for four 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 four. Okay, save apply SQL, and here I have the data I wanted. Let's execute this, and the result is okay. Let's use the instruction update. The update instruction has the following syntaxes, syntaxes. You can see it on the screen. First comes the update instructions, instruction, then the table we're going to modify. After comes the keyword set and a list of assignments. What is an assignment? Below you can see a list of assignments. Column 1 equals value 1, col comma, but column 2 equals value 2, and so on. In square brackets, you can see the instruction where. It's like the select instruction. You can describe a condition inside, uh, as you can see, and, and, and it's and is if, like we did before. Let's uh, do an example now. We're going to update with this the publisher to table. For this to work, we have to choose the schema edu publisher to. You could put edu first, and we, it will also work. We are going to update publisher to table set in the phone field. Here it says set the phone field. Phone is a string. To this, it has to be between quotation marks. We're going to replace 444, but 454545. Five, five. All could be replaced, but uh, because I'm going to write where why, with ID publisher equals um, 4, like here it says, this means we're only going to replace ID publisher equals 4. This one is the one which is going to be modified. Okay, um, let's uh, see now um, if it works. A message is written that everything is okay, and here you can see that the update has worked. As we're going to see now, we can modify two fields at the same time. We could um, do this, update publisher to, that's the table, and in the same set uh, we put the field phone with the new values, 223, 344, and the name field, we can change the um, lower case for an upper case. Here's in a lower case, in the first word, and in the second word there's a uppercase, so we're going to change this one. So there's a difference. As the ID publisher is 4, the changes are only going to affect uh, this ID publisher. This one, the number 4. Okay, let's execute and let's uh, see what's happened. You can see that all share, okay, that says it's everything it's okay. And we can see now that old store was modified. Yes, and phone too. We could also apply this on all the the registers. If uh, we delete where and write this here, we could change all the phones to zero. This would make the change in every one of them. Let's execute. Uh, here we have an expected error. Um, apparently, this editor has, uh, this is the first time I see this, has here um, 
um, has a uh, here in preferences uh, a security clause forbid update and delayed statements without a where clause um, this is not normal I suppose that the person who did this graphic editor added this clause so that if someone forgot the where all the table wasn't deleted I'm going to uncheck it and let's execute again uh, error again I think that's uh, the error because it it's not it hasn't refreshed let's exit and let's exit from here and we come in again and try try again okay now we're in uh, select the um, edus database and we're going to see we have um, let's see what we've he got here we have everything okay let's execute everything's blue let's execute and as you can see now uh, ev it has applied to all the rows because there was no where simple okay this is enough for this tutorial see you in the next one